Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Bernie, guys, another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's hate. Now, if you guys didn't know, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare has a lot of hate going on. Now, Charlie Into has a huge post that they uh, put on their website. We're going to go over this whole thing because, dude, people do have to give Infinite Warfare a chance. I mean, they are hating on this game so much. If you guys didn't see, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare's trailer has... Two times the dislikes as likes on this video. I mean, 163,000 likes is a lot of likes for a Call of Duty trailer. Now, 231 dislikes, that's even more, man. It's crazy. It's like a snowball effect. Once you get people starting to dislike, the haters just start coming out and everyone's just... It's just an internet thing. People just love to hate. But, if you guys didn't read the article, it says, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was recently revealed, but... Fans are already up in arms about why the movement system will not be boots on the ground and why Call of Duty is sticking with the future setting for another year. The YouTube reveal trailer has more dislikes than likes at this point. Many retailers updated their listing to state that the title will contain a chain-based movement system which sounds very similar to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 movement system. The movement is more controlled and not like exosuits at all. Plus, we've only seen one second worth of thrusters in the reveal trailer, so pretty much it's not like Advanced Warfare. A lot of people are thinking, oh shit, another Advanced Warfare. I mean, if you guys look into the title of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, it does look similar to Advanced Warfare. I mean, it just looks the same. Uh, just the colors are the same and everything like that. So people are just automatically thinking, Advanced Warfare, fuck it. But people love Black Ops 3. People love the ability to thrust. Not exosuit, but thrust. Just small jumps. You can't boost left or right or backwards. You just small jumps upwards. People like that, and while running, everything like that, people like that idea, so Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is bringing that. I think that's what it's going to be like. In order to re really figure out why Infinite War Infinity Ward made it the way they did, we have to look back at Infinity Ward's last release first. Call of Duty Ghost was re remarked as one of the worst Call of Duty titles by fans. Every time we try and tweet something about it, our mentions are filled with those hating on it, calling it a joke, and wondering why anyone would buy that. So with all that, why would Infinite Warfare even think of making Ghost 2? That would be a marketing nightmare for Activision. I'm, I'm sorry guys, sometimes when I read this, this is my first time reading this as well, but when I read it, Infinity Ward is almost exactly like Infinite. So when I see that word, I just want to say Infinite Warfare. But... Yeah, pretty much they're saying, I mean, maybe this video is getting a lot of dislikes because it is the, the, the creators. Infinite Warfare, or Infinity Ward, is bad. I mean, they made Ghost, and Ghost was horrible. Everyone hated it. I mean, ever since Modern Warfare, they were good on Modern Warfare, but when they made Ghost, everyone hated it. So they decided, you know what, let's make a new game. Infinite Warfare, start brand new, fuck Ghost. The Ghost sequel is over with. We're not going to make a Ghost 2. It's not happening. Let's just start something new and try and hope something good out of it. Um... Now, I don't know if, if it's a good idea or not. They should have just made a Modern Warfare 4, man. I mean, everyone loves Modern Warfare. The fact that Black Ops 3, just the word Black Ops came into the title, everyone loved it. If Modern Warfare came into the title, everyone would be psyched about it and happy. So, I mean, so far, I think more people are happy about the the remastered Call of Duty 4 than Infinite Warfare. But yes, we did not spe specifically ask for a futuristic game, but there were fans asking for innovation and wanting something new. Call of Duty community is a large community, over 40 plus million people. Everyone has their own opinions about each movement system, each game, and more. This is Infinity Ward's first go at the three year cycle. This is why we're going to a new world. This is why we're getting something new. It's about innovation. It's their chance to try and bring something new to Call of Duty. Sledgehammer Games did it with Advanced Warfare. Cherok did it with Black Ops 3. And now it's Infinity Ward's turn. So everyone had something new. It's a new cycle. It's a new it's it's a new genre. Um, I mean, it is still Call of Duty, but it's true, man. Everyone was like, Call of Duty is the same. They just make the same game, just new maps. It's just boring. It's getting played out. So everyone was asking for something new, and then when we bring something new to the table, it's confusing because people get mad. I, I really want to know your guys' opinions. Like, I want you guys to all comment below your opinions because I'm really confused. Like, this is a debate that's going on right now. What game is better, Call of Duty Infinite, the last gen Call of Duties, or the new gen Call of Duties, which is exosuits, thrusting, all that stuff. Um, fans have under. Fans have to understand when Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was announced, there was a ton of hype for the new innovations. This is true. Fans were excited to see how it would work once the game released. Players loved it at the start. Negative feedback did not start until a few months after the release, let's say around February, April 2015. At that point, Infinity War was already a year and a half into development of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. There's no way they can change the entire idea and redo based upon feedback. Infinity Wars could not... 
Infinity Ward could not have predicted such a response of futuristic settings in Call of Duty three years ago when many folks, press and fans alike, wanted some innovation in the franchise. So pretty much, I mean, Call of Duty games take three years to make. It's not just a simple, oh, Black Ops came out, let's start making the next one. No, it's not like that. It's a three-year process. It's a lot of time and effort. So when you guys really think about it, the ideas that they have for the game that drops that day were ideas that they started three years ago. So three years ago, Advanced Warfare was hyped up. Boots, exosuits, everything was just awesome. They were like, yes, let's do that. That's the new movement of Call of Duty. So all these game developers are doing that. Now, I do believe the next Call of Duty, because Advanced Warfare got so much hate, is not going to be like this. It might be Boots on the Ground and stuff like that. But guys, Boots on the Ground, you have Call of Duty 4 Remastered. If you want to play, you can just play that. Um, oh my god, there's just... It's, I don't know what's going on, man. But the only the hard, bad thing about Call of Duty 4 is you have to buy... You have to pay extra. You have to get Infinite Warfare and pay extra just to get COD 4. COD 4 is not going to be sold separately. Activision does not have a plan on selling Call of Duty 4 Remastered separately. Um, but yeah, you guys, I really want to know your guys' comments below. I, my opinion, I'm hyped up for this. I mean, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, any new Call of Duty is hype, man. Any new Call of Duty is hype, in my opinion. Um, just a new game, new, new things to come out, new news, new information, new guns. Everything's new. It's different, and it's it's better you know you don't want to keep playing the same game over and over and over again that's why world of warcraft has updates where they bring new characters they bring 10 more levels you can do they bring new dungeons new things like that and other games they have new updates you can't stick to the same game unless it's fucking but minecraft even changed minecraft used to be just blocks and shit now you have the pc world where you have different worlds you could go to the moon you could go do so many different things there's dungeons there's caves it's, it's literally changing i mean everything's changing that's that's what life's about is change and I like it. I mean, that's my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. If you guys can please give this video a thumbs up, man. Let's try and break 300 likes. I appreciate that more than anything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. To cover you guys. I mean, literally, there's so much shit. Oh, my God. Literally, there's so much shit that's been dropping in the next Call of Duty world. Um...